時刻は間もなく9時8分になるところですこの時間はバラカンボックス今日はお客様をお迎えしています Welcome to Hot Tuna Uh, which is Jack Cassidy sitting right next to me here, and you're my. Do you pronounce it Kaukonen or Kokonen? Kaukonen. Kaukonen. Okay. Perfect. First time. Okay, great. Very nice to have you here. Nice and to be good here. Good to be here. Thank you. And I know it's your first time in Japan for 17 years. Yes.、Yeah. You guys and me go back, you don't know it, but we go back to <laughs> 1968 to. There was a concert you did with. Jefferson Airplane and the Doors at the Roundhouse in sure. London. Oh, they l o v e that place. And、uh, I was still in high school at the time. I didn't have enough money to go to the gig. So my friends and I, we knew that the, each of the bands was going to play twice. And we thought, if we wait until the, the Doors came on last. So we said, if we wait until the, the last Doors set, they'll probably let us in for half price. And they did. Excellent. But, but we had to wait until two o'clock in the morning or something. Perfect. And、uh, none of our parents were going to let us out until that time of night, so we had to lie to them. But it was an, a memorable gig. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see the Jefferson Airplane, though. But there, there you go.、Um, you've been playing as Hot Tuna since 1969? Pretty much so, yeah.、Uh, yeah. Uh, we started doing shows, I think, in.、Uh, A year or so earlier than that, but we didn't really call it till Hot, Hot Tuna until we put out an album. We had to come up with a name. Okay, why was it Hot Tuna? <laughs> well, that's a good question. That's a good question. And, and、uh, you, being, being a, a blues aficionado, will appreciate that there's a, a Piedmont style player named Blind Boy Fuller. Yep. And he does, Keep on trucking, mama. Drug my blues out. And he's got the lyric in that song where he goes, What's that smell like fish, oh baby? And some wag. Uh-huh. Said hot tuna. Well, it, in our defense, it was the late 60s, early 70s. And we said, that's a great name for a band. Okay, great. And there you have it. Now, I'd kind of assumed because you were with one of the、um, standout San Francisco groups that you were from the West Coast, and neither of you are, in no, fact, you're both from the Washington, D.C. area.、Yeah. Right in D.C., we are. Uh huh. Ten miles square <laughs> between Maryland and Virginia. Taxation without representation. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Yeah, we're East, we're East Coast guys, and, and、uh, Jack still lives in California, but I've been in back East for almost 30 years now. You prefer it, though, do you? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. Obviously, we had some glorious times in San Francisco. It was, it, was, it was an exciting time to be there, but I like the weather. You know, there's, there's hard, there's just, the weather is rain where I live in, in California, and I like a little snow and stuff. And, and plus, plus, I own a bunch of land in Ohio, so that's a good thing. Okay, right. That's not exactly East Coast either. Well, no, you're not. That's the Ohio River Valley. But from a California point of view, anything you know, east of Nevada is East Coast. <laughs> okay. The whole、um, the Jefferson Airplane 2 came out of the, the kind of folk rock era. And、yeah. what you guys do with Hot Tuna is very much based in not necessarily folk, but、right. um, all of the kind of roots music of America. Well, I think that. You know, and I, I'm sure Jack can speak for himself on this, but, but from my point of view, you know, I look at myself after all these years basically as an old folky because that's how I really started out, even though we played rock and roll in high school. And, and everything I do sort of emanates spiritually from that standpoint, even though we do it in a lot of different ways. Sometimes we're plugged in, sometimes we're not.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but to me, it's all, you know, now they call it Americana, but you know what I'm talking about. Sure, it's a, sort、sure. of an amorphous、uh, sort、mm-hmm. of thing. There's this, this movie, I just saw, went to a screening of it yesterday actually, Inside Lewin Davis. Have you seen that? I have not seen that yet. I'm looking forward to it. It's a very, very good movie.、Yeah. But、uh, I'm sure for people like yourselves, it would bring back a lot of memories、sure. that I certainly don't have. Yeah.、Um, did you listen to Harry Smith's anthology when it、yes. came out? Yeah, I used to go down to the, to the Library of Congress, which was kind of like the early version of the internet then, <laughs> and, and、uh, take a bus down to the Library of Congress and, and get to hear those collections. Uh, Alan Lomax and, and Harry Smith, and later on they compiled those and put them out in early LP format. And、uh, yeah, I still have those, as a matter of fact. And, and listen, that's, that's the way you got to hear so many different uh, uh, idioms、uh, coming out of the, the collected folk、uh, world. You could actually go to the Library of Congress yeah, and they、yeah. would pl- let you play you, records there. Yeah, absolutely. You go in a little booth <laughs> and they give you the 78s, or sometimes they're on scrolls, you know. It, wow. It, it, I mean, that's how ancient we are. Uh, and uh, uh, and you,、uh, I'd listen to music, music of all over the world, you know.、Uh, 
the music of the pygmies of the rainforest, you know, all kinds of stuff. And this is brought back in the late 50s? <laughs> late 50s, early? yeah, when I was about um, anywhere from 12, 13, 14 years old. And so nowadays, what's really interesting is, is all the young people have that conduit, that access through the Internet to mm-hmm. all these, uh, this wonderful music that's being saved by the Library of Congress uh, as quickly as they can while the, while the tape lasts on tape to transfer these great collections uh, uh, over. And so um, it's kind of like uh, now everybody's got that kind of access. All right, really. Well, あの、今、議会図書館の話をちょっとしてました。あの、昔、50年代の,あのハリー・スミスの有名なアンソロジー・オブ・アメリカン・フォーク・ミュージックがあったんですけど、二人はね、同時、あの、その時代にそういう音楽を聴いていたかと聞いたら、ジャックは、あの、ワシントン DC の議会図書館に行って、あの、申し込めば、昔の,あの78回転の SP 版をその場で聴かせてもらえるあるいはあのシリンダー形式のものまであったっていうんですね、まあ、あの昔インターネットがなかった時代にそういうものがあったっていう話ちなみに2人ともワシントン DC の近辺の出身なんですけど後にサンフランシスコに渡って、まあ、ジェフソンエアプレインの時代があったんですジャックはいまだにウェストコーストですけどヨーマーはあのかなり前からまたあのイーストコーストの方に戻っていますはい、ということで、えっと、ジャTalk it over one more time. Well, this old world was made one day. Come back, baby. China, don't go away. Well, come back, baby. Let's talk it over.
baby, please don't go. Way I love you, child. Lord, I want that world to know. We'll come back, babe. Let's talk it over. One more time. Well, come back, baby. Baby, please don't go. The way I love you, child. I want that world to know. Well, come back, babe. Let's talk it up. Well, you, you said that you didn't know any songs under 20 minutes and you didn't know any songs with with words. We could have made it longer. <laughs> Come back, baby. An yes, old sir. Lightning Hopkins yeah. song. Very nice indeed. Thank you. Uh, Hot Tuna, the acoustic duo version, which is just your Martin Jack. Yep. As opposed to you sometimes have Barry Mitterhoff playing we do, with we you. We do. Okay. And uh, the shows start today. Uh, the, tonight's show is, in, in fact, all sold out. Will there be people allowed to get tickets on the door? Maybe a few. It's Maybe a few. Thing. Okay. If you desperately want to go tonight, you can go to Thumbs Up in Yokohama and you might get in. Uh, if, if you live a long way away, maybe don't try it. <laughs> Tomorrow night is Club Quattro in Shibuya, starting at 7.30. Then uh, Monday, Osaka Janus, 7.30. Tuesday next week, the 29th, uh, which is a public holiday as well. Kyoto Takutaku, starting at 7. Wednesday, the 30th, Tokuzo in Nagoya, starting at 8. And then a little gap until May the 3rd, a Saturday, at Shibuya Tokyo Women's Plaza, which is a, a so-called lecture concert featuring the two of them, plus myself and George Cockle, who does uh, Lazy Sunday. And then finally, again at Thumbs Up on uh, Sunday, the 4th of May, uh, an extra gig st starting at 7 o'clock again. Okay, um, I had an email from a listener this morning who said he heard your first album, something from the first album, oh, Hesitation Blues, mm, played mm. on the American Forces Network way back in the day when it first came out, right, I'm sure, yeah. at like one o'clock in the morning. And uh, on his way home from school the next day, he went to his local record shop and picked up the album and said it's, it's something that's lodged in his memory ever since. I remember having that album as well and playing it a lot. Yeah, we're... We're still proud of that one. That's a, yeah. that's that's a good record. That was a good record. Yeah, thanks. You you have a lot of records, and quite a lot of them are in fact live albums. Yeah. And I'm assuming there's a reason for that. Well, the reason I think uh, you know with the, the, when we did the first uh, record. Well, the reason for doing live albums is because you don't have enough new material to go in the studio. I mean, let's be honest about it. That's <laughs> that's the real reason. But uh, when we did the first record, Jack and I had been doing that set and stuff like that for. I, I'm guessing maybe a year, and it was just time to do that. And it seemed that's the kind of music that doesn't, in my opinion, translate well towards the kind of brickling that happens in the studio. I mean, uh -huh. It's live, and and what you get is what you get. And so and that's what we were looking for with that. Uh, and the same thing was true with the second. Then we did a bunch of, of studio albums. And then for a number of years, as you know, in the, re the recording business, we didn't have a major label, right. which meant no budget for doing stuff. And we didn't have the nifty things like the computer you got so we could do it in our basement like anybody can do today. Mm -hmm. So we did a bunch of live records. So, But, you know, the truth, truth be told, I enjoy working in the studio, and we've all done a bunch of uh, studio things since then. But I think my first real joy is playing live that's live music is exciting stuff mm -hmm. the two of you having played together for as, as long as you have do you actually ever rehearse well that is uh, <laughs> we, we do, do we do we, we put we put material together for instance our latest album steady as she goes on red house records uh, just, just let me let me just a quick pause yes we do need to rehearse yes. go ahead yeah. Jack. Uh, <laughs> and and uh <laughs> We we get together and, and we we work stuff out. You know, it depends. Uh, if we fold a lot of different material over. Yorm has made a number of solo r recordings, so when we fold that material into the Hot Tuna set, then I then I need to rehearse them, and, okay, and, and work over that material. Uh -huh. um, but you know, when we we did this last album for Red House Records a couple of years ago, um, we put so, some of the material we had been working out on the road. And we put together in a small 
fashion and uh, just barely fleshed out some some things we had played uh, in the set as new material before we recorded and, and some things were worked out in the studio so it all it mm-hmm. all works out yeah um, I have been playing tracks from that album over the last few months and uh, presumably you, you have copies God of bless it you. At, at the gigs to sell as well funny you should mention it yes. yeah <laughs> We I mean, do. We that's do. how working musicians manage to sell records these days, right? right. That's pretty much how the it venues. is. Yeah. It's all about the merchandise, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have another track then. All right. Uh, all right. What do you fancy playing? Oh, that's a good question. Would you like to do something from that aforementioned album? Well, actually, I was really thinking about uh, uh, maybe doing... Uh, how about an instrumental? You up for instrumental? Yeah. Okay. Embryonic uh, Journey? Well, that's too it's, 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 Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's only a minute, minute and 58 seconds. Right. Can, but I'll do something in drop D. Let's do Living in the Moment. Oh, okay, great. Give me a quick moment here to make sure, sure no that. Problem. Uh, it's a very nice looking guitar, too. Okay, a little song called Living in the Moment.
That's beautiful. That's a like really nice melody. Did you write that yourself? I did, yeah. Okay, I, I googled it while you were playing, and that's from a 2007 release called Stars in My Crown. Right, yeah. Uh, featuring, in addition to the two of you, Barry Mitterhoff, Rob Ikes, Reese Winans, Stim Taffer, Stim, Tim Stafford, Greg Lees, Sally Van Meter. Right. Some good musicians on there as the, well. Just to say the least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I shall have to try and pick up a copy of that. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a Yorma solo release. I didn't oh, play it. Oh, it was. That. Oh, I see. Yeah, a, a Yorma okay. solo release takes about ten people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the one you did with people like Jerry Douglas. Oh, yeah, Blue uh, because, Country Hard, yeah. That's right. That's yeah. a, it's a really nice record yeah. as well. Jack, we have you plugged into the board today. I know in an ideal world you would have liked to have had a bass amp here. And I'm, I'm, I'm a tube amp kind of guy. And yes. You're known for a very fat sound on your bass as well. Will, you, will we hear that uh, at the gigs? You will indeed. Okay. I it's can. going to be so fat. <laughs> <laughs> P-H-A-T. Uh, Absolutely. Excellent. I'm really looking forward to this. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. I don't want to talk too much because we're going to be doing this lecture concert thing. Oh, yeah, yes. right. Exactly. Um, and I, I don't want, if people have heard us talking today and then they come to that, we don't want you rehashing the same oh, conversation. Oh, so. we, can, we can blab forever. Don't worry about that. <laughs> So let's let's save it for then. Um, we're going to give give away a few tickets for a couple of the gigs as well, and um, look forward to seeing you live at the venues. Excellent. Okay. Our pleasure. Believe me. Thanks for having us on the show. Well, thank you very much for coming in today. Station. Inter FM.